the ultimate name in moving around with style and opulence, recognizable everywhere. But what makes one of these land yachts so expensive? Every sleek Rolls Royce is the result of an inspiration that gives the commissioned model life. With its unique set of pinnacle components, Rolls Royce stands out in the universe of luxury car manufacturing companies. The Motor Company, which has dominated the motor manufacturing sector for more than a century, carries a distinctive legacy from its founders. The models are expertly made with handcrafted components that take months to make. In addition to its reputation as a premium brand, Rolls-Royce is known as the gold standard of superior quality. High quality parts, metal, leather, wood, and newly discovered materials are used to create the models. Rolls-Royce automobiles have also been made from materials like silk, glass, silver, and other things. Even the luxurious experience is created using cutting edge fiber optics. The Starlight Headliner, which is standard on the majority of Rolls-Royce models, uses an intricate network of hand-stitched optical fibers to simulate the night sky on the roof. All this combined with the company's illustrious motor racing history works to give the brand a reputation and image from the get-go. On all Rolls-Royce automobiles, the bonnet ornament sculpture is called the Spirit of Ecstasy. It looks like a woman leaning forward with her arms extended above and behind her. The Rolls-Royce emblem was all that could be seen on the first Rolls-Royce automobiles. There were no radiator mascots. Eleanor Velasco Thornton served as the inspiration for Charles Robinson Sykes' sculpture of a personal mascot for the bonnet of John, 2nd Baron Montague's 1909 Rolls-Royce Silver Ghost. Sykes was working in London under the patronage of the nobleman. With one forefinger resting against her lips, Sykes originally created a figurine of her in fluttering robes to represent the intimacy of Thornton and Montague's love affair. The design instantly became iconic, despite going through a version in which the figure was kneeling. The spirit of ecstasy represents the artistic and exquisite clientele that usually buy Rolls-Royce cars. It continues to be a celebration of the company's mission and all that its enduring legacy stands for. The classic design is made of highly polished stainless steel but also has been produced in silver, carbon fiber, 24 karat gold, and even an illuminated frosted crystal form. Each and every Rolls-Royce car is made by hand. Yes, that's right. It is for this reason that Rolls-Royce cars are some of the most customizable in the world. Only a small percentage of luxury automakers actually construct their vehicles by hand, but the Rolls-Royce production line is based on traditional craftsmanship and advanced technology. As an illustration, premium bull leather is handled by leather craftsmen who then use laser-guided cutting tools to precisely cut each piece. Cutting corners is not an option, so Rolls-Royce hires four expert detailers who spend three to four hours solely on polishing. Only natural veneers are used for wood interior surfaces, and leather is dyed throughout to prevent stains from showing through scratches. A Rolls-Royce factory takes its time constructing cars so that each component can be expertly crafted. The calm, efficient flow of work is immediately noticeable when you enter a Rolls-Royce factory. Small teams concentrate on a single area, such as dashboards, interior siding, or seat upholstery. Although the Rolls-Royce factory is, in a sense, an assembly line, in reality, it is more like a group of skilled artisans working together to produce something extraordinary. The Rolls-Royce name has existed since 1906, but the pristine building in Goodwood, West Sussex, England, constructed on the vast estate of Lord March and directly across from the renowned Goodwood Circuit, has only been there for a dozen years. However, it is already the most valuable asset of the company and what makes it exclusive. The rich history associated with Goodwood is also a contributor. Around 1600, a modest Jacobean house serving as a gentleman's residence was constructed, marking the beginning of Goodwood House's history. Charles Lennox, the first Duke of Richmond, bought the estate in 1697 and expanded the original home. He was the illegitimate son of Charles II, who was king of both England and Scotland thereby explaining his significance. 
Home to the Goodwood Festival of Speed is the nearby Goodwood Circuit. This yearly event is centered around a hill climb by vintage racing cars and is held in late June or early July. Motorcycles and other vintage and antique cars participate. Launched in 1993, the festival welcomes 100,000 guests over the course of three days. With all admission via pre-booked tickets, the Festival of Speed's main draw is the opportunity for spectators to stroll through the racing paddock and get up-close views of the cars and drivers. The factory's opening marked the conclusion of a five-year legal dispute between Volkswagen and BMW Group over trademark and production rights, with the latter winning and creating Rolls-Royce motor cars as a wholly owned subsidiary. It resembles a working museum more than a factory. The modern, green structure is airy and light, with an eight-acre roof covered in living vegetation. A Rolls-Royce Phantom can be built in almost two months. The factory floor is devoid of any noisy equipment for stamping or cutting metal. Instead, the bare bodies are brought in from Germany, already assembled and painted. The Rolls-Royce Starlight Headliner, which reportedly uses more than 1,300 individual fiber optic strands to mimic the alignment of the stars that shone in the sky over Goodwood on January 1, 2003, the factory's opening day, is one of the most impressive projects completed at the facility. Each strand is manually inserted into the headliner over the course of 9 to 10 hours. With such a high-value factory located in such an aristocratic location, the company's sky-high asking prices come as no surprise. The first Rolls-Royce Phantom was put into production in 1925 and has claimed iconic status ever since. It featured a larger engine unit that used overhead valves as opposed to the side valves used in the Silver Ghost. In turn, the Silver Ghost is regarded by many as one of Rolls-Royce's best ever creations. The Ghost was manufactured between 1906 and 1926, and it ended up in just over 7,800 homes worldwide. In fact, they were built so well that many of these cars, some of which are more than 100 years old, are still in good condition today. Anyone who has seen one of these beauties will notice the smallest details have been built with the highest level of attention to detail. Among more recent examples is the impeccable Rolls-Royce Wraith, a powerful two-seater model offering the best in personal luxury. The 6.6-liter V12 turbo engine in the standard Wraith produces 624 brake horsepower. From 0 to 60 miles per hour, the car accelerates in 4.4 seconds. The vehicle is the fastest accelerating Rolls-Royce ever made. A recent entry into the ultra-luxury SUV market with the Rolls-Royce Cullinan has paid off, with it becoming a total success. With the Cullinan, the company registered its highest ever sales in over 116 years in 2020. Since moving away from mass production of regular customer cars for the most part and leaving that to foreign manufacturers, the UK's automotive industry is now best known for its premium and sports car marks. Along with its place in the very early beginnings of the automobile itself in the 19th century, British companies have come to amass renown for combining luxury and performance. Consider Roll's rival, Royce's brands, including Aston Martin, Bentley, Jaguar, McLaren, and Lotus. They serve as effective illustrations of how Britain is still a major player in the world. After all, traditional manufacturers will always be ahead in at least one thing, making opulent cars regardless of how many new and exciting businesses suddenly spring up around the world. And for more than a century now, British luxury car manufacturers have been the best. Rolls-Royce competes in an industry that is beset by iconic names such as the Bentley Continental GT, Aston Martin V12 Vantage, and the Jaguar F-Type, and therefore, they simply have to be the best and utilize all their unique advantages to come out on top, and they have. With the promise to always stay at the cutting edge of automotive technology, Rolls-Royce has recently announced that all of its models will go electric by 2030. Following news that Rolls-Royce sold more vehicles in 2021 than in any other year in its 117-year history, CEO Torsten muller Otvos told Autocar that each model needs to be replaced with an EV alternative as the company moves toward having a pure electric lineup by 2030. 
He has also indicated that the price of the future electric Phantom won't necessarily be higher than the starting price of the present V12 petrol vehicle, which is 374,400 pounds. The Phantom EV and other electrified versions of other models will focus on displaying qualities that make up for the loss of the venerable V12 in Rolls-Royce, which will be phased out in 2030. With autonomous driving on the Horizon 2, the future looks to be one that the company can continue to dominate on its own turf. The Rolls-Royce Spectre EV is going to come out soon, and record sales in 2021 has greatly increased the company's confidence. Had you already heard of the secret behind why Rolls-Royce cars are so expensive? And are there any other details that you would add to this video? Share it in the comments, and if you'd like to see more inspiring business videos, then make sure to check out our channel.